open. His shit leaking crazy. These niggas is trying to stop him from bleeding so he don't get caught. I'm in the yard early wreck, you heard? Now I told y'all that Green is was basically at the time, this is 9697, you heard? Green was basically at the time the wildest medium in the state of New York, probably still is. It's predominantly adolescent or people under the age of 25. And it's a wild ass jail where motherfuckers is getting cut and stabbed every single day of the week. The jail is a very big jail. You heard there's two sides to it and it's a bunch of dorms. So sometimes people could be on that compound and you might not see them, especially if they don't want you to see them. You heard now, if you a live nigga and you always out in them streets, you be outside, you gonna see everybody. I mean, me and my niggas, he was heavily outside. So anybody that's in the jail, we know about it. But at the time, Bloods, Latin Kings, the Yetas, they was going to war. They was going to war. They was trying to stop Bloods from coming into jail and forming up. So it was an ongoing everyday war. And they was making sure Bloods ain't getting into jail and, and stack numbers and try to take over. So it was an ongoing war where somebody got cut each and every day. Somebody got stabbed each and every day. Aside from the regular shit that goes down in green where niggas getting cut, um, cut and stabbed just from beefing shit from the streets. Niggas getting the beef in them dorms. Niggas stealing, robbing. Niggas doing all type of wild shit, causing beef. So niggas is always getting cut every single day. So, but you got some dudes, you know, at the time it was a lot of, it's a lot of motherfuckers that, you know, they be hiding in the jail. They don't come outside. They don't go to the yard. They don't go to the gym. They don't go to the mess hall. They don't do none of that because they got so much beef. All they could do is stay in the dorm and try to avoid that beef. You heard? But um, in green, they so foul. They do this shit called the festival. I think it's twice a year. I don't know if it's once or twice a year, but I know I was there for two festivals. You understand what I'm saying? So I think it's once a year. But, um... They do this shit called a festival And the festival They make every dorm clear out They make everybody go To the yard to eat You understand what I'm saying You go and eat in the yard And it's like everybody in the jail Is outside Mandatory right? And niggas say the reason why they do this shit Is to get that lurin', That lurking beef That's gonna pop off they want to they get the shit out the jail. So the shit is like the purge, my nigga. Like, I'm telling you, the festival is like the purge. I don't know if they still do the festival and all of that, but that shit is like the purge, my nigga. You understand? Where you could cut. It's basically you could cut and stab whoever you want on the festival, and the police is not going to do shit about it, my nigga. There's too many motherfuckers out there to watch. You cannot possibly watch all of those people at one time. And like I said... They rather get that shit out the jail before if something happens and a riot takes place, before something else happens and a riot takes place eight, nine months down the line. So if it's beef, they want you to get that shit out the way in the festival, a.k.a. the purge. You heard? So when the purge comes around, everybody is everybody is grouped up together. All the Brooklyn niggas, whoever fucks with each other, all of the Latin kings, the Nietas, you understand what I'm saying? The Muslims, the guards, everybody is together in their own group. You understand what I'm saying? Because you don't know what's going to go down. You don't know what beef is out there that you don't even know about, really, that may be lurking. You understand what I'm saying? So, everybody being teams, my nigga. Everybody being teams a hundred deep. We used to be a hundred deep, my nigga. I'm talking me, my cousin Val Don, Slills, Hamo from Van Dyke, motherfucking um, Glock from Tilden, Pow Wow from LH, motherfucking my son Hawes from Harlem. We was so deep, my nigga Clint, my nigga Shug, my nigga Crime. Like some niggas was on the other side, some niggas was on the new side, some niggas was on the old side. But we had the stupid 
Monster Mob. You heard my nigga squeak like the Monster Mob. My nigga Mike, my nigga Cat, my nigga John Crons. You heard like the mob was unstoppable. It was unstoppable. My nigga Black of Dawn. Like it's too many niggas, bro. Too many niggas to name. But we was out there a thousand deep. You heard? That nigga China, rest in peace. And this is the festival part one. I'ma tell the other story about the other festival, which is even crazier, soon. So whoever I forgot, chime in and let it be known so I can make sure I mention you on the next one. But um, we were stupid deep, you heard? My nigga Jabbo. I'm not sure if Papa Jock was there for this particular festival. My nigga Wop, Trey Deuce, all type of niggas, bro. All type of niggas, like I said, way too many to name. We be out there, we be out there a thousand deep on them festivals, cause them festivals is cause them festivals is dangerous, you heard? So this festival's main event, the main beef that was brewing, besides the normal Latin kings and the Etas saying that somebody was on um, blood but trying to play Muslim and the normal shit that goes down. The real main event this time was the Asians. The Asians had a mob in cream. Now I mean, one of the, one of them niggas I was in um I think I was in G2 with my nigga Ka. That was the bro. You heard my nigga Ka. I don't know what happened to Ka, but anybody that was in cream 9697, they remember the nigga Ka. He was a real nigga, you heard? So son had a mob, he had a mob. The Asians had a mob, you understand what I'm saying? In green, young niggas. Niggas from Chinatown, flushing, all that. Them niggas was thick, and they don't fuck with nobody, my nigga. They don't fuck with nobody. They stay to themselves, and they do them. You had a couple of them niggas who fucked with the black niggas and niggas from Brooklyn like us, like the nigga Kai. It was another nigga, too. I can't remember the other, my other son's name, a little short nigga. But Kai, I think, was in G2 with me. But, um... The rest of them niggas, they mostly stay to themselves and they and they stay ganged up, but they mind their business and, and they don't get into shit too often. So this particular time, one of the Asian niggas used to get weed on the visit or whatever. However, he used to get weed. He used to sell weed in the jail. So somebody got some drugs from the nigga. You understand what I'm saying? I can't remember who it was. And I know they was niggas that niggas somewhat knew and fucked with a little something. But somebody in the jail Got a couple of quarters or whatever from the nigga Quarters, $25 worth of weed When niggas give you like a, a nickel bag of weed Like a New York size nickel bag of weed It'd be $25 So a nigga, so nigga sell you that Either his people's gonna have to send you His people's gonna have to send you $50 Through the mail Or you send a $50 money order somehow to him Or you pay through other means Cigarettes or whatever you pay with You understand what I'm saying? But in this particular time, niggas had took a couple of quarters off the Asian niggas and they didn't pay them niggas. You heard? So now the Asian niggas is feeling like niggas don't want to pay you, nigga, because niggas is Asian. Niggas think niggas is sweet out here. You heard? So now the other Asians, the kid who, who, who didn't get paid, the other Asians, they amping this nigga like, yo, look, nigga, you going to have to put that work in. You can't be hanging around us if... Niggas is dead and you on weed in the jail. You understand what I'm saying? You can't hang around us like that. So you're going to have to put that work in. We got your back, but you're going to have to put that work in. So when we all come to the festival, everybody know, yo, them Asian niggas is, them Asian niggas is acting like they're going to bust their gun. You understand what I'm saying? So them niggas is walking around the yard, six, seven deep, eight deep. You heard? And them niggas is looking like they whispering and, and talking. So everybody know what it is. Like I said, this is the purge, my nigga. So police don't give a fuck. You heard? You on your own. If you got beef in that fucking yard, you are on your own on the festival. So we watching them niggas. We like, yo, you see them Asian niggas over there? Them niggas about to do, they about to do them. They about to do their thing, my nigga. You heard? So we like, word, them niggas is looking like they about, they up to something. So, sure enough, as the festival goes on, about 20 minutes into the festival, I see one of the Asian niggas, he slide off from the rest of them niggas. You heard? 
and they following behind the nigga, but he slides off. So I think son had crept around one of the shacks or something like that, like one of the weight shacks or or or, or the um or the um the wreck shacks where you get the where you get the equipment from or whatever. The kid that he cut, like I'm like I'm not gonna sit here and act like I remember every single detail of how the shit went down. So if niggas was there, you understand what I'm saying you could chime in and for the niggas who got cut, it's no disrespect. I'm just talking about the real histories of green. You heard? But um, one of the Asian niggas, he crept up on the nigga who owed him the bread. You heard? Because they was in the yard. He crept up on the nigga who owed him some bread and he blew the nigga with a rug. Wong! You heard? You see the commotion. You see niggas moving and move. niggas like, yo, what happened? What happened? What happened? Niggas like, yeah. Like, yeah, that Asian nigga just bust his gun. You heard? So now he blew the nigga. Boom. Now I see the Asian nigga, he spins off. The nigga who cut him, he spins off. Now the group of Asian niggas come back over here. They go by the nigga. They like, yeah. Now if these niggas jump off, we just, we all going to jump off. So now this nigga, he looking down at his hand. The Asian nigga looking down at his hand. He had a glove on. He had a workout glove. Like one of those, uh, one of those motherfucking um, gray joints with the, like the rainbow stripes on them shits and all of that. Like he had one of them shits on. Them shits is, them shits is thick. And he kept looking down at his hand and then he took the glove off and that nigga was leaking crazy. He had cut his own hand, cutting the nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Like that, so at that, like if you ain't got a, if you ain't got a serious grip on that razor, you could cut the shit out yourself with one of them shits. You heard if that shit ain't taped up right and all of that. So he blew his whole finger open, his shit leaking crazy. You heard? So now them niggas is trying to stop his, these niggas is trying to stop him from bleeding. So he don't get caught because the kid who got cut, he ain't blow it up. You understand what I'm saying? And he spent off like, boom, hid that shit from the police and kept it moving. So now all of these niggas is in the yard. The kid and his mans that just got cut and all of the Asian niggas. Now they all spinning. The Asian niggas is trying to stop this nigga hand from bleeding. He dripping and leaking crazy. I'm like, it's a wrap for him, nigga. You going down. You heard? So... Eventually, they call a go back. The kid who got cut and his mans in them, they slid out first. Because one of, one or two of the Asian kids who was with that mob was in the dorm with the nigga who got cut. You understand what I'm saying? They ain't expect him to not blow it up and go back to the dorm and hold it down. They ain't really expect that. They thought he was going, you know, had to get up out the jail right then and there. So now a couple of these Asian kids... They got to go back to the dorm with these niggas. So soon as them niggas go back to the dorm, my nigga, them niggas just call that shit. Red Dot J1. Red Dot all available. Everybody start, all the police start running towards J1. You heard? Now, I wasn't in J1 when the shit went down. But what I heard, what rumors, what, what, what niggas was saying in the jail is when them niggas went back to the dorm, the nigga who got cut or one of his mans, I'm not sure, he ran down on one of the Asian niggas, stabbed the nigga in the eye with an ice pick. You heard? And them niggas was scrapping out. And I heard the Asian nigga lost the eye, my nigga. I don't know how true that is, how accurate that is. So if you was in J1 when that shit took place, leave a comment. But I heard... Niggas went back. I know they popped off on the Asian niggas for a fact. They called the red dot. Niggas got cut, stabbed up, all of that. But I heard the Asian nigga got an eye tucking out. Nigga threw the ice pick in his eye. Wong. You heard? So them niggas came, brought them niggas out. You understand what I'm saying? And that was that was that for that festival. That was the carnage for that festival. You heard? It was all type of other shit that happened all over the jail. But that was the main event. You heard? And it was crazy. And like I said, when them festivals came through, listen, bro, you might as well, if you know you got that beef like that, you might as well blow it up before the festival get here, my nigga, because them niggas is going to get you on that festival. That shit is literally the purge, my nigga, of green. I don't know if they still do it. If they do it, leave a comment. Leave a comment in the comment section and let it be known that that festival still goes on. You heard? Because that shit was the real life purge, my nigga. 
know what I mean? And all type of niggas got cut and stabbed on them festivals for a fact. Record breaking numbers for a fact. But like, yeah, man. LAZ. Shout out to all y'all dudes that's joining the new membership, the Gen Pop fan membership. The members is the members is clicking up already. My goal is a thousand members. You heard? I appreciate all that love. I appreciate all that love. Y'all be showing on that Venmo, that Cash App, that PayPal. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all be keeping the commissary right. You heard? Y'all be having me. Y'all be having me coming from commissary right like this. But like, yeah, my nigga, I'll be back for part two of the festival soon. And that's a fact.